their 751 finally cooled off a bit. It's been hot the last few days. So, uh, first thing I wanted to say, you see the, 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 the amount of travel I have right here? Um, you could get longer travel on these shock, on this rear suspension if you put longer shocks. The issue with that, with that is, first of all, the the rear brake lines are really short, the factory brake lines, so you can get longer ones. I've got the longer ones already. But if you go with a longer shock, the, the axle will drop down further, you know, so you get more travel. But on compression, you're losing compression because for the shock to be bigger, the body's got to be bigger too. So this is moves up and you got a really smaller gap here on your downward compression now. You're losing downward. And the only way to fix that would be to move the shock mount up higher. See what I'm saying? Like I said, you can stuff some longer shocks in here, but then you're losing downward travel. So I could modify this cut this out, put a different shock mount on there, but I just don't have the money to be messing around with that. I don't have the money for this right now, so. All right, so I got the old ones off. Okay, this is the old one, and this is the new one. Looks like I'm going to lose some travel with these shocks. Yeah. These here on the right, I custom ordered. You can call the company and they'll fix you up. Now, how long you want them, how much travel you expect, or what you're putting them on. And... But, uh, yeah. Just a little shorter. I remember when I ordered these because I wanted something longer than the old man emu shocks. So I measured those and I measured these and then I looked, looked them up on their website and then I looked because uh, I got all the, the specifications then I gave them a call made sure I was getting the right thing this is what I'm putting on I told them I already got the longer brake line so I'm not too worried about that they just they do ride a little stiff that's all well, a long time YouTube subscriber Steve out there was asking if I was going to put the remote kit now that I got ranchos all the way around um, See, these are adjustable little knob on the bottom and they sold a kit that you mount inside your cap so you can adjust the shocks without having to get off all the time crawl under there and adjust it well, apparently they, they discontinued that so no I guess I'm not getting the adjustable wireless it was called the, the my ride adjustable wireless controller I'm putting the old shocks back. I don't like those sh those ranchos because they're too short. It, that gives me like an inch and a half less downward travel on. In other words, the extension, the axle's not going to drop down as far as I would like it to. I'm getting an inch and a half more with these shocks here. I mean, yeah, the, this, this Tacoma, the suspension doesn't flex very good at all. Especially the front with that IFS suspension, independent suspension. Most of my flex comes in the rear here, so I need as much travel as I can get. So I'll put these shocks back on. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just, I wanted something a little smoother. I like the adjustable struts in the front, the rest of the ranchers, but... Oh well. Not hurting nothing. Um, so now I got less downward travel that makes no 
difference to me because I got the, these big bump stops on it right here. The timber end. This is how much I got. Just a little over an inch before they make contact and then they compress. They'll compress more than halfway. So that's, uh, that's about three, around three inches, a little more than three inches. So I got three and a half inches right here. And they'll compress more once they get past that. So, because I got this rubber bump stop on the shock. And these will compress more. That's on a real hard bump, so that's as good as we're going to get. Can you hear me? Let's see. Shoot. It's got a little breezy right now, but it's, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, about 3.30, and uh, I put those Rancho shocks on and took them back off because I don't like them They're too short. Uh, so first thing I did is I emailed uh, Rancho to see if they have an alternative part number. I need at least a 24 inch shock absorber. I sent them an email this morning and they so far they haven't got back to me so so much for that on to something else right something bigger and better uh, those are out now so I did some research on bill stains I believe they're 51 25s they are longer those are 24 inches long 9.4 inches of travel those will work much better and those are only 85 bucks. So, got on the phone with Four Wheel Parts and told them, hey, this is what I got. The shocks you guys gave me yesterday are too short. I just put them on and they ain't gonna work for me. I need that extra inch and a half of travel, extension on them things. Uh, I told them, is there an issue? I'm gonna bring them back, I don't want money back I just want to exchange them I want these shocks I gave him the part number and everything <laughs> the issue is he says oh they're not available he says it might take a month to get them I'm like all right whatever as long as I get credit for those other shocks that's the issue I got right now give me credit for those I should get some money back um, those branchos were hundred and thirteen dollars each so uh, that's what's up with that. Now I could have gotten the Bilstein shocks from Summit Racing because they were in stock at Summit Racing. But then I might have an issue there trying to get my money back credited to my account with Four Wheel Parts. I got an account at both places, Four Wheel Parts and Summit Racing. And it's not like if I order them today, they're going to be here tomorrow morning from Summit Racing. It's going to take a few days, and it's already, it, it, it don't even matter now, right? It don't matter, so.